You know, I'm happy to get a win. Winning's hard at this level, and Fayetteville State is a really good team. They were in the Division II playoffs last year. Um, you know, our kids battled, and, you know, that's what I'm most proud of is, you know, we've talked, you know, since I've gotten hired of, you know, having an unrelenting resolve and just staying the course and battling and, you know, finding a way. We we always joke around here, all it takes is you got to win by one. You know, it don't, we, we could win a 45 to 10 or – 19 to 17, we're still 1 0. So uh, the kids didn't blink an eye when we had our backs against the wall and we found a way to get it done. So I'm happy about that. Talk about uh, the performance from Ty Woods. You know, you're a true freshman, what a big moment. And like you said earlier, you didn't bat an eye and just kept right up there. Yeah, no, Ty's been amazing for us. Um, he's had a great camp. He won the job for us. Um, we had two freshmen battling for the kicking job, and Ty was the clear cut winner in that competition. And, you know, he does it every single day in practice. Uh, when we got in the moment, you know, I didn't hesitate to give him a chance and, you know, obviously came up with four big field goals for us and ended up being the difference in the game. And, and I'm really happy he's here at UNCP. Uh, Coach, you guys seemed to have stalled on offense in the first half, but in the second half, you guys opened with a touchdown. Was there, a, you guys changed game plans in the second half on how you wanted maybe go a little more tempo or just happened to work out? Yeah, no, I think it just worked out. You know, we didn't play good on offense. Um, you know, we had a lot of self-inflicted wounds with pre-snap penalties and um, some things they were doing on the defensive line were giving us a little bit of trouble in the run game. Um, you know, but we knew they were being really aggressive on our RPO stuff. And so we made a little bit of an adjustment on our RPO in the second half um, and double moved Trey Dixon on it and got an explosive play. Would have loved to see him score on it. Um, but fortunately, the very next play, we were able to throw a touchdown to Josiah and you know, it gave us the momentum we needed just to kind of reset the tone. Um, you know, so, I mean, there's a lot of room for improvement. I think we're going to watch the film and see a lot of missed opportunities. And, you know, that happens quite a bit sometimes in game one. So, you know, we're looking forward to getting back to work tomorrow. And how were you ready to experience your first game like it was from Johnson State? Yeah, no, I thought the – you know, I thought the atmosphere was great. You know, I think the energy in the in the stadium was awesome. I think our guys were feeding off that. And, you know, we got into the fourth quarter and – you know, it, it helps to be at home in those situations. So, you know, I'm happy to be here. You know, I don't know how many people were here today, but, you know, like I said, you could feel the energy from the sideline. Love it. Uh, so, late in the fourth quarter, Malik had a crucial uh, third down drop. You elected to punt. Was that just confidence in the defense? You guys knew you could get a stop, or do you just kind of want to see fourth quarter? Yeah, I mean, there was, I think, two minutes and 55 seconds left. Um, you know, I told the team afterwards, the thing I'm most proud of is we practice all these situations. Uh, Four-minute offense, two-minute offense, when we're winning, when we're losing. We got three timeouts, one timeout, and we had 2.55 on the clock. Clock was stopped. We had one timeout. Um, kind of assumed that Coach Hayes at Fayetteville was going to, you know, run the ball. You know, and I felt like our defense was playing pretty well. You know, so we were putting it on our defenses, putting it in our defense's hands. Um, so we punted. We got to stop on first down, let the clock run, call his timeout on second down. And, you know, fortunately they had a penalty that stopped the clock with a minute 50. Uh, but we were prepared to go out there on offense with a minute, minute five to go, no timeouts. It's a situation, like I said, we practice all the time. Um, you know, so we had a little bit more time with no timeouts, and the guys did a great job, and we executed. Yeah, no, I thought Caleb played well. Um, I think he's a kid that if we can continuously give him time, the kid can throw the football, and he's got a little moxie to him. Um, he's certainly not scared of the moment. You know, he came with me from my previous school. He's led other two-minute drives. Realistically, there's very few guys I've had in my career that I would want in a two-minute drill over Caleb Pierce just because he's not scared. He's going to let it rip. And, you know, we were we put a couple plays in that we haven't practiced, and he executed and got us down there. And you know, I'm glad he's here with us, and I think he'll continue to get better as well. And obviously, it's great to celebrate a win like this, a rivalry win. But uh, how do you prepare on another short week uh, for for your first conference game? Yeah, we we're, we're going to come back tomorrow. Um, typically, we give the guys off um, the day after the game, but we're going to bring them back here tomorrow night. Um, we're going to 
get right to work on West Virginia State. You know, we're, you know, going to move on from Fayetteville. We're 1-0. Uh, we got conference play. West Virginia State's a good team. They just played an FCS opponent tough last night and only lost by two. Um, we're going on the road, which is something we've talked about getting better at here. Um, you know, I told people coming into this week, I really believed week two was going to be the biggest game of our season, whether we won or lost today, just because, you know, the history here the last couple of years, the program hasn't done well on the road. And, you know, if we won today, we have a chance to be 2-0, and win on the road, which hasn't happened. It can really kickstart our season. And then obviously, consequently, if we'd have lost, you know, it would have made it even more important to get the win because we wouldn't have wanted to start 0-2. We got a lot of momentum now. I think the guys will be fired up to come in here, get a lift in tomorrow afternoon, get in the film room tomorrow night, and we're gonna get right to work. Yeah, I know. I, mean, I like I said, I think they were just kind of suffocating us a little bit in the back end. Um, they weren't really respecting our ability to go down the field, um, so. You know, we, we decided to double move Trey Dixon, you know, and the safety bit up on it, and we were able to make an explosive play. Um, they played us a little differently. Obviously, for me personally, I've gone against Fayetteville several times, and they did play us differently today than they have in the last probably five matchups. Um, they were way softer in terms of they played two high safeties a lot, um, you know, which is something they hadn't done to us in the past. So we, not to say we weren't prepared for the two high stuff, it's just, you know, we were preparing for them to have an extra guy down in the box and do those kind of things, but they played a little softer on the back end. And how much can you attribute this win to the defense, given the fact they had major stops throughout the game and forced to turn two turnovers in the first half? Yeah, no, I think the defense deserves the credit. Obviously, offensively, we had the drive at the end, um, but we put them in bad spots all, sing all day. Um, they had their backs against the wall. Those guys competed. Um, Colin Neely, my defensive coordinator, he's my right-hand guy. Um, that's why I fought so hard to get him here. Um, when I got hired, he does a great job. Um, me and him make a pretty good team. Uh, we find ways to get it done. I lean on him a lot, obviously. Um, and I tell the team all the time, I want our identity to be defense. I'm an offensive guy, but we want to be a tough, hard-nosed defensive program. Um, I believe defense wins championships, defense travels. And if we play defense and we hold people under 20, We'll find a way at the end most more times than not. And, you know, today those guys only gave up 17 and could have easily given up more, but they didn't. They just kept coming back over and over and over. Did this win show potential of what this team can be down the road? Oh, absolutely. You know, I think the biggest question I had coming in, because you never know until you play a game, is what was going to be our toughness level, you know, you know, mentally and physically, how was the team going to respond when our backs were against the wall? Um, you know, because you just never know when you take over a team who's been struggling in the past few years and bad things happen, you know, will old habits jump back in? And, you know, I think it's a credit to the coaches, but more importantly, a credit to the players. They've really bought into what we've tried to accomplish in the last nine months. And we didn't have, we couldn't have had a, a tougher situation to start the season. You know, we played not great at times, put ourselves in really bad spots, but the kids just kept battling. And, you know, we talk about finding ways to win, and that's what they did. And, you know, I think realistically, winning a game like this will mean more for our team moving forward than it would if we won by three touchdowns. I think the guys needed to know that they could win a game like this. And now we have an opportunity to go on the road and show that we can win on the road, whether it's pretty or ugly, as long as we just keep finding ways. I think those things become a habit. And, you know, we'll end up finding ways when we need it down the stretch. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, just give us like, your initial thoughts are your first game, your first collegiate game. Um, you had some pretty big moments. What, what mm -hmm. did it feel like out there? Yeah. Um, it was it was a little scary out there the the first game not really knowing what to expect, um, but I mean, just trusted the guys out there and the game plan that we had and um, you know we had some good reps coming in uh, to this first game so it it made my job real easy with the uh, with Colin back there with the good holds and the good snap and just made my job easy so. Uh, Ty, so you know growing up as kids everyone imagines you know. Scoring a game-winning touchdown mm -hmm. as a kid, I'm sure you had, you know, imaginations of you doing that. What was it like in real time, where you know you're just kind of 
understand that there's lining you up to try and walk this one off? Um, yeah, well, I mean, in high school I had a couple situations like that before, so I was I was used to, you know, hitting a game winner. I've missed a game winner, so I, I know what both sides feels like. So, um, you know, I mean, you just – right before you kick, you get your mind to go blank and just do – do what you can do. So, I mean, yep. And for you and the team, obviously, I mean, getting your first win, it, it was really important. But for you as a kicker, how does this build for your confidence for the rest of the season, um, rest of your collegiate career? How does this help you? Um, yeah, it was definitely a good start. Um, you know, I mean, there's not much more I could really ask for this first game coming in. Um, you know, I always think there's there's something else you can, you can do to make yourself better. Um, you know, whatever that was, you know, like today my kickoffs weren't the greatest, so that's that's what I'll be focusing on more um, coming into Virginia State or West Virginia State. So, um, yeah. Um, really, uh, I mean, I was kind of blessed in high school to, you know, be a part of some big games. So I've kind of been used to that scenario so it's it's easier for me to to block out now that I've been doing it a, a few years so um as you're watching that final sequence take place what, mm -hmm. what was your mindset on the sidelines uh, were you watching were you talking to your teammates um I know certain kickers have different things they just kind mm -hmm. of hang out in the corner by themselves what, what were you doing? yeah um uh until it got down to about a minute I was in the in the net hitting some some field goals, just to you know, a couple practice kicks in the net, just to make sure I was I was good to go. And then um, once that it came down to the to the minute, I, I went over there and stood on the sideline, and I was I was ready. So, yep. Perfect. All right, thank you all. Appreciate it. It was a lot of fun, a lot of fun, a lot of energy out there. I was happy about the fans and just the energy that was in the stadium, the music, the band. I love that. I love hearing all that. Hey, uh, Caleb, you had a kind of a unique playbook playing with Colin, mm -hmm. your other quarterback alongside. What was it kind of like seeing him out there on the same, you know, same type of plays that you guys are running? It's awesome. Uh, I love playing with him. He's a great teammate. With me and him on the field, it's two threats at one time. You know, we can both throw the ball. We can both run when we need to. Um, I think it just adds that much versatility to our offense. Um, in those closing like 98 seconds, uh, what, 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 what was your mind at during all that? Was it kind of maybe you were just cool, calm, and collected, or were you just like yeah. eager to get to each of the next plays? No, just cool, calm, and collected, ready to make the next play, um, drive the ball down the field, and put us in a winning situation. I love it. I think it's just a testament to our guys and how hard we worked this off season. You know, like Coach Hall said, um, we've worked all these situations before in practice, so it ain't nothing new to us. Um, the four minute, the two minute deal. Was there anything Fayetteville State threw different at you that you, you guys or you weren't prepared for? No. <laughs> Obviously, getting your first win, um, whether it be home or away, can help for the rest of the season. So, getting your first win. Uh, next week going into conference play, how does this win help build confidence for you guys? And, and I think it just sets the, the concrete down for us, builds a foundation that we can just build upon and keep taking it into the next week and get it rolling. You guys felt, or you and the rest of the Chuan transfers and uh, some of the coaching staff had lost to Fayetteville uh, twice last year. You get over the hump this year. What was it like just for you, to, you know, a team that you've been so close to beating now you it was awesome. It was a great feeling just to win. Um, to me, me personally, you know, I, I treat every team the same. I'm going to prepare the same way. I don't play with any emotion behind it. Um, but obviously, it was it was a get back game for us. It was a little bit more personal.